Roman Reigns could be taking a break away from WWE after WrestleMania and the bad news is he might be taking both world titles with him. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling and we're here to discuss Roman Reigns and the fact that he's already been holding the belts hostage but now he might be going home to hold them hostage. What is that all about guys? Seriously, Roman Reigns... I we'll get into it in a minute, but I honestly do not understand what this guy has done to deserve this part-time megastar treatment. People say that he's the star, he's the face of the company, he's the number one guy. If that's the case, then why the hell is he not on the show every single week? Look at John Cena, that guy was on Raw, that guy was shoved down our throats for a full decade didn't miss a show, he was constantly there, and as soon as Cena started going part-time, as soon as he started not appearing every week, they began to phase him out, and that is when they put a new guy in charge, and that guy is supposedly Roman Reigns, but if Roman Reigns is the man, if he's the next face of the company, how come he's never here? How come he, he picks and chooses when he shows up? The guy literally has a Brock Lesnar schedule. It's beyond a joke. Anyway, this is what Twitter account WrestleFotes had to say on the matter. They've been discussing Roman Reigns' status with WWE after WrestleMania. And they tweeted the following, and I quote, I can imagine there's probably a significant break, at least a month or even longer until there's a major show that requires Roman Reigns. You may not see him until SummerSlam though. He'll be away for a little bit. WWE want to make Roman Reigns a major deal and they did. Now every time you put a major show on, you need your major star. End of quote. So, WrestleFotes here saying that he will be away for at least a month, possibly even longer. For me, he'll be away longer because last year, I don't even think he did WrestleMania Backlash, to be honest, and I don't think he'll do it again this year. I mean, the guy literally only seems to show up at the big pay-per-views, uh, or if it's, like, in a different country. I mean, the, the minor, like, the B-level premium live offence, this guy doesn't even bother showing up. So, again, I think it's disgraceful that the guy's on this part-time schedule, that the guy barely ever shows up. The guy, he's a champion. He's got one, not just one, but two world titles. And he can't even show up. He can't even be on Raw and SmackDown. I mean, literally, he turns up and then he, you probably don't see him for like another three weeks. And we're on the road to WrestleMania. We're in WrestleMania season and we barely get to see him. Honestly, man, it is, it is beyond a joke. What did he do? How did he get this schedule? The only thing I can think of is honestly the whole leukemia thing. And I can understand at the time, you know, they were taking precautions, maybe they didn't want to work him too hard, maybe they didn't want him to travel too much, but that was a long time ago, we need to move on, he's either okay to be there, he's either okay to travel and be the number one guy, or he's not, if he's not, then he shouldn't be the number one guy, and if he is okay to travel, if he is okay to be the number one guy, then he should be there every single week, it's as simple as that, and it's, it's actually sad that this guy could win, and take both titles with him. He's pretty much killed Raw. Let's be honest, Raw, for the past like year, year and a half, the fact that they have had no world champion on Raw, look how much Raw has suffered. People can say they tried to push the US title. It's not the same. Look, you need a world title on your show. Look at the brand split, 2002. It's, they had the Undisputed Champion. And Undertaker was on every single show. Undertaker would be on SmackDown, feuding with people for the title. He'd be on Raw, feuding with people for the title. Undertaker was wrestling every single week and turning up on both shows. And he had separate feuds on both shows because he, his belt belonged to both shows. And they realised that they needed a world title on both Raw and SmackDown, Roman Reigns can't even be bothered showing up to one show a week, never mind two. And what happened as soon as Brock Lesnar won the Undisputed title, as soon as they made the Undisputed title, the WWE title, they made it exclusive to SmackDown. And what happened straight away on Raw? Eric Bischoff, 
brought back the World Heavyweight Championship. Why? Because they knew Raw needed a world title. How the fuck could you have the likes of Triple H and, and Goldberg and... I, mean, I don't know if he, he... Okay, he wasn't there at the time, but how could you have Triple H and Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho? How could you have all these guys on Raw and not have a world title? The answer is you couldn't. It wouldn't make sense. You can't have all these stars and not have a world title. So how are we supposed to believe that anybody is important on Raw? How is Bobby Lashley important? How is Seth Rollins important when they're just... They don't care, you know, they're too busy having stupid feuds. They don't even care about a world title. They don't even have a world title to go after, you know. It, it, honestly, man, it makes no sense. And the worst thing is, I mean, you would think with this news that he's taking time off, you would think that means Cody Rhodes is guaranteed to win. And in reality, it doesn't because, like I said, Roman Reigns has had the belt for the last, what, almost three years now, and that's not stopped him from taking time away. That's not stopped him from disappearing and working, you know, a very, very light Brock Lesnar-style schedule. So, yeah, why, why, why would it stop again? You know, what's stopping him from leaving again with both belts? In my opinion, it's an absolute joke. They need to get the belts off him. They need to get one... They need to get the red belt back on Raw and the blue belt back on SmackDown, man. It's as simple as that. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they need to do it, and they need to do it fast. I know a lot of people don't like the bloodline. Look, I personally... I think it's okay. I don't mind the bloodline. It's not horrible. It's a bit... It's overrated for sure. But I don't think the bloodline sucks or anything like that. Um, you, you could argue it's maybe the best thing going for the simple fact is it's the only time that gets a lot of screen time. It's the it's the kind of the only stable or that is like treated importantly in WWE. But they they need to lose the, even the Usos, man. They've they have had the Raw tag team titles for too long now, and it's like if you if you've got a brand split, then then each brand needs its titles. You know, I mean, I could I could accept having one world champion, but how, you can't do it if Roman Reigns is your champ because he, he, he isn't there. He, he's not there. If you want to have a one world champion, that's fair enough. But you, you need to have that champion appear on both shows. And at the moment, Roman Reigns isn't doing that. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts there. Uh, will Roman Reigns win at WrestleMania? I don't think he will. I think Cody Rhodes win, will win, but I'm not 100% sure. You know, I'm probably like, I'm probably about 70 30 in favour of Cody Rhodes. I know that's quite a lot, but I'd honestly believe. I honestly believe there's a 30% chance that Roman Reigns wins and continues to ruin the product and hold both belts hostage. But uh, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I do think Cody will win, but yeah, not 100% at all. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll catch you in the next one. And of course, Tribal Chief wants to take more time off. I mean, what a, what a life this guy's got, man. You know, hand it the main offence, big massive salary, got both belts given a Brock Lesnar, and what did he ever do to earn it, honestly, Cena, I can understand Cena gets a part-time schedule, Brock Lesnar, you know, I can understand why he gets it, The Rock was in movies, Cena were in movies, alright, Brock Lesnar just doesn't like people and he wants to be in his ranch, fair enough, but what it's not like Roman Reigns is, like, he's not in demand, you know, he's not making 10 million movies a year, I, I don't see why he needs this part-time schedule, man, honestly, it's a joke, that's my opinion, let me know what you guys think down below, I'll catch you in the next one, until then, Peace.